Guerlain created the first commercial lipstick tube in 1870. So let's connect this massive innovation to the larger picture of cosmetics, grease paint, and the acceptable change in formularies, giving lipstick a greater availability in society by the 1920s. In 1872, just one year after the release of the tube, the common formularies state paints and rouges for the skin are objectable preparations and the use of them extends very little beyond theaters. But with Guerlain, it's no coincidence that by 1892, we suddenly have a recipe for red stick paint, also known as stick rouge. The words connecting it to theater tube grease paints are left out. Now, with a base recipe, apothecaries and cosmetics and perfume makers were able to make and sell stick rouge to the public. Previously, fatty rouges and paints were many times lumped under headings that would say theatrical paints. But in 1898, we suddenly see separate headings for rouge face paints versus theatrical paint. Guerlain's tube of lipstick slowly separated headings and formularies, which meant that there was a change in public receptivity. It would have been daring back then, but remember this quote, well-behaved women rarely make history. It was those women who bought and used the first tubes of lipstick in those formularies who blurred the lines of everyday wear and theater to help transform a change in makeup, cosmetic products, and its accepted application. And thanks to Guerlain for the separation in the formularies of what now was considered proper rouge, versus the grease face paints. Now, were these first lipsticks and grease paint recipes safe? Not always, but by 1912, we see a generalized and updated healthier recipe for theatrical grease paint using safer pigments. How did they perform? Well, by 1914, actors were complaining to Max Factor that they did not like the oily finish, so he began to compound his own, which led to another crossover of cosmetics for the everyday woman and those who used them in theater, just like Guerlain's first tube of lipstick. Further, changing the ideology of what was acceptable for rouge, lipstick, and the women who wore these cosmetics.